This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kyoto Koto and welcome to Marvel X-Men United in about 3 minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-5 to five players, playing time is short, and it's a pretty simple game. You're the X-Men teaming up once again to thwart an evil mastermind's dastardly scheme. Can you work together to save the day? All players are working together and win if they defeat the villain, first by completing at least two goals and then removing its health. All players lose if either the villain or players run out of cards, or the villain completes their villainous plot. Card management. Each character has a deck of 12 cards for you to manage. Variable player powers. And each of those decks of cards is unique. Player turn. Select the villain you are going to play against from the four in the box. Place the villain on the dashboard along with six random locations. Their tokens and miniatures for the heroes and villain. Each player then takes their deck of cards for their hero and draws three cards. The game opens with the villain taking an action. Draw a card and follow the instructions on it. First movement, then the bam effect, which in this case is to do damage, and then placing two civilians in adjacent locations. Damage causes a player to discard cards. If you ever discard your final card in your hand, knock your figure over until your next turn, then draw up to 4 cards if possible. If you cannot place henchmen or civilian tokens in a free space on a location, check the villain's overflow effect and resolve it. When it is a player turn, you start by drawing a card. Now key concept in Marvel United is the storyline, which starts with the first villain card. You play your hero card to this line and take the action shown below. From now on though, once a player places down a card, they take the action shown on their cards and the one on the previous card. The villain acts after every third card, and villain cards don't count for counting back to the next hero card. Some cards have special effects when first played. These do not trigger when the second card is played. There are four actions and matching tokens for each action type. If a card gives you tokens, you can keep them until they're played. The actions are move, attack, heroic, or wild actions, which can be any of the other three. Move is simple, and lets you move to an adjacent location in the ring. Heroic actions can add stars to the bottom of locations. Once three of these have been placed, Remove this card and reveal the location bonus below. Remove the purple peril token. Heroic actions can also remove blue civilian markers. Attack actions can remove red thug markers. Or if the blocking card on a location is a henchman, it can fight them. When tokens are removed, they are placed on the dashboard. If one of these cards fills up, remove it and slide the remaining cards right. This unlocks the effect above. Now the villain is acting every second card, which is bad. A lot more work is needed to make the villain vulnerable in order to win the game. Why would you like this game? Now the elephant in the room with this review is that I don't have an elephant sized pile of expansion boxes. This is a review of the retail version of this one standalone box. So while my friends who own all the expansions assure me the game is amazing with them, we must assess what's here. And Marvel United is an excellent lightweight cooperative game that's very easy to learn to play and get into. But feels like it's got enough going on that it doesn't feel like it was a game made for kids. It's legitimately impressive how much gameplay there is here for a game that boils down to take three possible action types. The four villains of the set are quite varied play experiences, and I do dig that two of them are also playable as heroes. All up, I think the standalone is a good casual and family game. Uh, best thing about this game is the storyline. Making your turn impact the next players is an excellent decision point. However, knowing there are a gazillion expansions for this game is a financial sword of Damocles that you might not want to step under. Because while the game is good as is, that lure of spending to get more content will always be there. If you really like dick building, try Marvel Legendary. And for a significantly heavier co-op game, try Marvel Champions. Marvel United. You Marvel fans really like buying expansions, don't you? And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.